Lukashenko states NATO plans to invade Belarus. President of Belarus Alexander Lukashenko said in a message to the Belarusian people that NATO countries are preparing for an invasion of Belarusian territory. Take my word for it, I've never lied to you. NATO countries are preparing to invade the territory of Belarus to destroy our country, he announced. The Belarusian president explained his statement by saying that he believes NATO troops are being deployed at an accelerated pace in the eastern direction. According to his estimates, the bloc's grouping in Poland and the Baltic states alone has more than 21,000 military personnel, 250 tanks, almost 500 armored vehicles, about 150 aircraft and helicopters. And all this armada is demonstratively training near the borders of Belarus and Russia, Lukashenko complained. In addition, Lukashenko began to warn that the West was also forming regiments and legions to carry out a coup in the country. However, he did not give details. When the time comes, I'll tell you all about it. Today is not the time. Painstaking work continues covertly, the head of state summed up. Before this, President Vladimir Putin said that Russia would station tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus, its first deployment of nuclear armaments outside its borders since the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. Minsk said the missiles would offer protection after what it called a campaign of pressure from the United States and its allies aimed at overthrowing Lukashenko, who has been in power for 28 years. In his speech, Lukashenko also called for an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine and for talks to start on a lasting peace settlement, warning that Russia would be forced to use the most terrible weapon if it felt threatened. It is impossible to defeat a nuclear power. If the Russian leadership understands that the situation threatens to cause Russia's disintegration, it will use the most terrible weapon. This cannot be allowed, he said.